The city of Westminster is a city of over 100 years, but we are the only city in the United States that's going to go take a shopping center that was a, a history of part of the city, and we're going to convert that to the downtown in the middle of an already built city that was never existed before. We have never had a downtown. We're going to become only the third urban center in the state of Colorado. The NAOP challenge has been something that our city has been aware of for a number of years. Uh, it's important for us to participate. This is our first uh, transit-oriented development in the city. It's our first train station. And so we're really excited to get as many uh, eyes on this as possible and get the best and the brightest from Colorado thinking with us about how to improve this site. The goal of the city in participating in this challenge has to do with wanting to bring some exposure to a portion of the city that is ripe for development and redevelopment around a rail station. And all of the trending in and around Denver in the Front Range is for higher density and higher intensity development in that context and around those types of facilities. And so the timing couldn't be better uh, for participation in this year's challenge. One of the biggest benefits for this group to be looking at this site is a very fresh perspective around transit-oriented development. It is a unique opportunity because of the fact that it is an end-of-line station. The candidates, we think, are going to provide things that maybe are a little outside the box, and for us it's really exciting to see what they come up with. In that area where the TOD station is, you know, it's our arts district. Um, so I really hope to see sort of this history, this uh, our diversity to be part of this um, challenge. This project is dependent, or will be dependent, in my view, on a lot of different people participating and joining together to make it a success. In terms of the larger impact to the community, I think the entire city of Westminster is, is really excited by it. It is transforming uh, an incredible 35-acre park situated directly adjacent train platforms and bus platforms. What a pleasure and what a distinct opportunity to allow the city to mature and, and change dramatically and, and grow, I think, as a, as a more vibrant community. What I'm most excited about working with the students is that they always come up with good ideas and fresh ideas and they're young and they're not constrained with all these years of having had someone tell them what they can and can't do. And so when you get to work with them in this environment, they are the ones that are going to bring some vision to the site and they're going to be able to explain a whole bunch of neat things that someone else somewhere might have said, well that can't happen. But it might. It might be able to happen. As a result of the challenge, I would love to see um, sustained enthusiasm for this site. I would like to see some brilliant ideas that we're able to actualize. And ideally, I'd like to have the students leave this project feeling that they really got to be part of something special. If I could use one word to describe my experience in the challenge, it would be challenging. Using one word to describe the challenge is awfully challenging. It's been really difficult at times, and. Uh, but at the same time we've learned a lot and uh, in the end it's something I'm always going to look back on fondly but I'm always going to remember how hard it was. Challenging. <laughs> I think I would use the word comprehensive. Just the logistics of it, not even the project, are a challenge in itself. The entire site plan uh, feasibility with financials and, and not only that but even the marketing side of how to, how to pitch the site. Dynamic because there's so many facets that go into this competition and there's so many people you need to talk to and research you need to do. Dynamic because it seemed like there were a lot of moving parts that were going on at the same time at all times. I would have to say growth. I think that this was really an opportunity to grow internally, working with my team, exploring all these different types of options for our project as well as working outside, networking, trying to actually immerse in the community and learn about Westminster and learn about the site. Intense 
It's definitely a intense but very realistic and satisfying project to have a real life side and real life problems to face. Intense. The reason is that you're taking on a lot of moving parts, consulting with a number of different opinions, a lot of expertise, and you have to try and bring all those pieces together and that can be very, very overwhelming. Overwhelming. It was resourceful. The project was an absolutely fantastic experience. And really, I'd use experience. It was something that put a team together to do a lot of different things in a very short period of time, and we really got it all done. Awesome, because it was awesome. <laughs>